I don't hate liberals. I feel sad for them that they're mentally challenged. <laughs> Welcome back to Child Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Morocco TV. When delusional woke people get owned. Please extra down below. I really appreciate that. Let's give that ciao. It's ciao time. Why would God equip the average woman to be smarter than men? Do you think it's just for homeschooling their children? Again, the claim that you made at first, which is that men and women have bell curves, the men's bell curve being wider than the woman's, would not imply that the average woman is smarter than the average man. Oh, no, no. It would line them the up exactly. The curve itself right? yeah. d implies or actually indicates that no, it would on just average. Be the extremes. No, right. no. Was... If you actually look at the curves at the top, it's women taller than the men's curve. She really thinks because the height in this curve makes it so that there's, you know, they're smarter than us. No, the IQ levels are the same. There's just more women in this IQ level, but they're still smarter men. But okay. The, 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 but the, the IQ of the curve would be on, on the X axis, right? That's where you get the extremes. So yeah, I think so you're- So are you you're... disputing that on average women are more intelligent yes. than men? I... <laughs> As would Larry Summers, as would the people who have studied this. Uh -huh. gotcha. Discount Mia Khalifa is back again, showing what a genius she is. She brings a graph that she can't even read or understand. Butch, you I actually agree with them. She is somewhat of a discount Mia Khalifa kind of look. Yeah. You don't? A feminist, and I don't okay, hate so men. Okay, so you are a self-described feminist. What is a woman? Why do you want to know? I'm infinitely what, what, curious. What's a man? You're looking at one. Why do you think that that's important to you, what a man and a woman is? Do so you, you treat men and women differently? Well, it depends in what context, though. Politically, no. Under the law, no. Should mm -hmm. they treat it differently in societal customs and norms? Yes. yes. Why? Like, we should open doors for women. We, we should honor and protect women. And... I want to honor and protect you, man. Okay, Aww. great. Thank you. Women protected? are worthy of protection. Can you tell me what a woman is since you're a feminist? You're saying these things because you're trying to get a gotcha. You're okay, a feminist. So you Shouldn't you be able to tell me what a woman is? I'm a feminist. Isn't that probably because... important to feminism? What is the woman that you're Bruh, trying to advance know, and right? protect? Bruh. Isn't that <laughs> integral so to? Is that the whole feminist project? The Asking war against. what a woman is is the is the only way that you can well, get a gotcha over everybody I, I, else. I, I, why is it so important to you to define things in certain categories? Why does, how does that help your gender? Because there's different rules, laws, and regulations for the two different sexes. And there's plenty of them. Day-to-day -day life. Like what, what other categories in the human species are there besides male and female? Well, I just think that categorization is usually unhelpful when we're trying to improve society, right? I have XY chromosomes. Okay. Can I give birth? Um, no, you can't. Bingo. That's why categorization matters. I mean, can you really call yourself a feminist if you're fighting to make changes that are there to protect women? And also, you can't even define what a woman is. That just makes you a complete donor, not a feminist. A woman is anyone that identifies as a woman. Simple as that. I think a woman is, like, if you identify as a woman, if you want to be a woman, then you're a woman. Are there any innate differences between men and women today? Um, uh... I don't know how to answer that question, actually. <laughs> What's a woman? What, I don't think there's an easy definition for what a woman is. As long as she's identifying as a woman. A woman is anyone who identifies themselves as a woman. It's who you are. How do they not realize that this is just giving their rights away to whoever wants to identify as a woman? identify as if you identify as a woman and you feel that like in your soul and in your mind you're a woman that that makes you a woman someone who has decided that they feel like a woman what does being a woman mean to you be careful hey, Jojo, Jojo, be careful like they're not a legit what is your news organization yeah. you don't think we're legit uh, we're just, told just, we're just legit. checking i don't want to get like uh yeah be careful one of the most basic questions in human history might be a trick question that might get you cancelled and removed from the whatsapp group you say that people complain so much but if people didn't complain in those days and fight for people's rights and fight for feminism, which is just equality for women, then you wouldn't be on the stage today and I wouldn't be here asking you this question. And so if people aren't complaining, as you say, and fighting for rights, then nothing would happen. So how can you reconcile these differences? Yeah, so first I wanna say I understand your sentiment because when I was your age, I thought the same thing, that feminism is just about equality. One of the brilliant things that the left does is they repackage words 
it's clearly not feminism anymore. Uh, it's designed to actually rip apart women and men, to make women paranoid about men all the time, and every industry is controlled by a man, and to make being on your own, I want to do all by myself, as aspirational, right? It's about all my single ladies who needs a man. Um, so just because you're using the word feminism, it doesn't mean that it is feminism. People didn't complain as much, they actually acted and they did shit. And I don't know what you're complaining about nowadays because you've got as many rights as men do. You can go and do the same job, you can open the same business, you can drive the same car, you can do whatever you want. It's funny how you don't hear feminists complain about equality when they're getting more money in the divorce courts or they get in the clubs for free or they don't have to pay for their drinks or meals. What is carbon dioxide? <laughs> I'm, I went to high school, but that's uh, carbon dioxide is a, a gas. Okay. I'm not a I'm not a I'm not a professional to talk about carbon dioxide so much, but well, you, you want us to abolish it, right? No, I, <laughs> there's always going to be carbon dioxide. Right. Let me, let me back up because I, I want to. I mean, you're here as an expert. Tell me more about what carbon dioxide is. I'm here as an expert cross country skier who sees the changes in my winters and the landscape that I live in in Alaska. And so carbon dioxide is, what I see it as is, you know, it's a gas that exists in our atmosphere. And what, is it the major part of our atmosphere? Or? It's a huge part of our atmosphere, yeah. It's actually a very small part of our atmosphere. Gotcha. Well, okay. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I don't know. What are you asking specifically? Uh, well, you said we need to reduce carbon dioxide emissions, I'd like to know first if you know what it is. Whoever made this kid do this and labelled him an expert is absolutely foul. He's got no idea what the fuck's going on. It's embarrassing and it's a complete waste of time. People's tax money actually goes into this. What? Brandon, there's all these issues, misgendering and so on. Um, what do you make of, though, of the wider thing of, of Dylan Mulvaney, this cultural phenomenon now in America, basically sending up what it means to be a woman? I think it's absolutely appalling to give credit and, cre and, and credence to a person who's mocking women. Dylan Mulvaney, I don't think is serious whatsoever. Got a gay man who has a, a lust oh for fame and fortune. He walks around with a five o'clock shadow and dresses up in women's clothes and mocks women. I have never in my life seen a woman act like Dylan Mulvaney. Did you watch the Barbie sense. movie? What are you talking about? What, and who about are you to I'm talk about, about who a woman is? You're real a man. This is well, absolutely nonsense. Who are you to talk about? I'm not telling anyone who a woman is. Mm. We're saying that we should get rid of sporting categories altogether. Do you support the idea of eliminating the Paralympics versus the Olympics? I think that's a really great question. And I need oh to, my God. I need, to, I need to look into that. Okay. That's very oh. ablephobic. Oh, oh. <laughs> I've seen a load of crap. Well, so have you. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. Honestly. I understand physiology and sport. Well, good for you. You don't. Good for you, but you don't understand here's loving the, a human thing. being. Now, I know I use the word donut a lot, but this guy truly defines it. He's got a hole in the middle of his head where his brain is supposed to be. There's nothing going on. Conservatives are up in arms because at a space camp in Alabama, there is a transgender employee that works there. No, that's literally it. They are angry now just for trans people being employed. That's uh, not even remotely close, actually, to why people are pissed off. So no one actually cares if you're trans, like nobody cares. Conservatives are all up in arms because it is a male who identifies as a female who has overnight access to the female dormitories as well as the bathrooms and locker rooms where these little girls are changing. And that's an issue. Like, how are you just gonna leave out critical information like that? Conservatives are up in arms because a grown man has access to where little girls are taking showers. Yeah. Get your facts right, you freaking doofus. If your family member came to you and lied about being black, would you care? <laughs> <laughs> it would be a little con concerning uh, why they randomly started saying why that. Why would that be concerning? Would it be concerning because they're suffering clearly from something which is a delusion? I mean, I'm not going to air that. Between what do you my... mean you're not going to answer that? Why would no, it be no, no, concerning no. if one of your family members came to you and said that they were a black man if they were a white woman? Why would that be concerning to you? Again, I don't know why this is such a honed-in conversation. I really just... To be nice, I don't like saying a crazy opinion on this because yeah, I, I think already it's... know what your feelings are in the matter. I asked you a question. I think race and gender are different. I'm going to ask That's you good. one more time. Why would it be of concern to you? Because they are not that race. 
Right. They are not that thing. So you would think what? Why would them not being that thing be of concern to you? That's a good question. I don't know why it would be concerning. But then why did you just say you would be concerned by it? I would be concerned because, because they are identifying as a race that they're not. Right, so they're lying to you. That's what the concern the, the is. You know that they're lying to you, so that would spring I, delusion inside of your brain. You would say they were delusional. There's no other reason you could possibly give for why that would be concerning. And if you can, I'd love to hear it. But delusion and a lie is a little bit different, don't you think? A, a liar, a good liar is whatever, but someone who's actually delusional and is having mental, a mental crisis is very different. What do you consider it to be delusional if one of your family members who was a white woman came over to you and said that they were a black man? Yeah, I think it's delusional at that point. Yes, exactly. It's delusional. Because I don't they're lying think... to you and telling you that there's something that they are not. Why what if they the believe same it? Thing not apply to sex? That's, I'm so it's, confused. It's, there, it's still delusional. Delusion is believing your own lie. Yes. So it's still a lie. <laughs> People argue gender is like a construct, right? Of Yeah, but race is a construct. Women don't even know what the word delusional means. They really do They just think as long as you believe it, it's not delusional. That's the whole point. <laughs> struck from your world V2. Race is a construct. Shout out yeah. to Andrew, it's man. If all the little shit. I literally learned so much from that man debating. It's amazing how much that man is so skillful at putting these people in place. I'm not, I don't, don't want to say women. It's just people. He puts other people in place too, not just women. In her group, tell her to think that gender's a social construct or pigs can fucking fly, then she's gonna go with it because she can't think for herself. She's a donut that needs Michael. Get some help. Shout out to Arako. It's funny that he always uses donut and, you know, you know, me being chow and my family owning donut shops. At first, I was like, man, my donuts are way better than these people. Now I'm like, oh, you know what? Yeah, these people are pretty doughy, soft, and, uh, have holes in their logic. <laughs> Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. And I'll catch you guys next time. Ciao.